Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're into video editing, you know how time consuming and challenging it can be, but things could be about to change with this new generation of AI video editing tools. In this video, we'll look at the top three up and coming AI video editors that you should watch in 2023. These video editors use machine learning algorithms to automate various aspects of the editing process, from color correction to audio enhancements, and even to assist with video cutting and storyboarding. So without further ado, let's take a look. So first up then, we have a little project that looks kind of interesting, another one that hasn't released yet. These guys are called Decoherence, and you can find them at decoherence.co. At the moment, you can only join the waiting list just to get ahead on getting access to it. It actually looks kind of interesting, um, and uh, the fact that they're applying this to music I think is quite smart, because obviously it's so abstract at the moment that um, music and maybe some marketing is, is all this is kind of going to really apply to. Well, not all it's going to apply to, there's probably a million other things that people will think of. But at the moment, with the aesthetics and the way it all flows it's going to apply to the more abstract use cases of creativity um, so let's take a look at what they're fielding is there a little example here then Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can actually see a lot of applications for that. It's still kind of a bit stop motion -y. You can see how it's transitioning from frame to frame, but there is a bundle of things you can do with that. If they have some sort of image to image or text to image, whereby you can actually take your own, you know, if you are shooting a music video with someone, you could actually take that artist, feed them in and put them in these crazy scenes. That would be absolutely mental. Um, there's obviously already a million applications for that. So here they've got some examples, write your prompts, sailboat on the open ocean. Choose your effect, contrast, continuity, zoom, set it to a channel, drums, bass. Uh, so you can have multiple syncing options. And they give us another little example here. So again, some really abstract artwork, some interesting kind of very AI-esque transitions. They've got some more little educational videos to kind of show you a little bit more about how it's going to work. If you want to go and check those out, I'll leave the link in the description for you below. Gling is another video editing uh, tool or bit of software that's powered by AI or using machine learning. It's kind of aimed at being a kind of quality of life application. Essentially what it does is it will take your recorded video or audio. This is in kind of their own words, reading their website. What they say is their artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms do the magic, cut out all the irrelevant parts and leave you more time to create. So I'm assuming what it's going to do is it's going to go through, look for the silent parts and the breaths in your video, create cuts and adjust where it needs to. I guess saving you a lot more time, especially if you are doing YouTube videos and jump cuts and that sort of stuff. You can upload raw recordings, select your video file, we'll send it for AI transcription and we'll remove your bad takes for you. P.S. We also support audio files for voiceovers edit and review review your edited video you can further edit the video by removing parts of the text and removing clips from the timeline so i guess it gives you a more text-based way of editing which can be really good i can imagine if you're working with a lot of interview footage or if you are doing youtube videos some presentations a lot of kind of dialogue based stuff you can export to your favorite editor we support final cut pro davinci resolve and adobe premiere um, which is pretty cool it's pretty cool that you can then once you've got those cuts you can move them straight over that's actually really cool that's, that makes it a lot more of an exciting tool so yeah you can come on their website get a lot more information about them but if you want to i'll link them in the description and that's gling another cool little tool then that i've been playing around with which technically isn't video but does have a lot of video applications is Leah Pix. Now what Leah Pix does is you can add 2D images and it will generate a depth map from that. But it also creates some really interesting results. Uh, some applications that you might be able to use that in a video. It's just being able to add a little bit more interest when you do need to use some images or some 2D stuff in a video and you just want to kind of make it pop out more. So just a quick little example of how this works. I've got this AI generated image from Mid Journey of a BMW, black BMW. And we've punched it in and what it's done is it's gone and created this depth map. Depth maps work by just kind of creating a bit of contrast between the background and foreground elements. And you can see that once it's done that, we start to get this cool parallaxing in the background. We've got some customization options in here. We can do different animation styles, giving it a wide circle, 
giving it a full circle, giving it a tall circle, and sending it vertical. We can also change the distance that it travels. You can see in some of the top edges here, if we start to really push the distance, we can see it warp in. I have to say, I mean, this process has been around for a while, uh, the depth mapping of 2D images into the kind of 2.5D, but this is definitely one of the better ones I've seen. It definitely does deal with some of those edges better than other systems out there. It'd be great to have a little bit more control over kind of what we can do with the animation. And again, you kind of want to pick certain directions, speeds, and the amount of motion that has the least amount of effect. Another thing we can do to mitigate that is we can come across the focus point. As you can see that when we're in close, we get a lot more movement in the background. Then when we're far, we get a lot more movement in the foreground, less movement in the background. And in the center, it's kind of 50-50. Also a lot of different download options. If you wanted to, you could then take the depth map that you've created. You could pull that across into After Effects, uh, whatever your kind of favorite editing software is. Then you've got a depth map and you can start to play around a little bit more with potentially doing some camera animations and, and, and bringing your scene to life a little bit more. All depends how you want to apply this technology. You can download it as an MP4, as a GIF and all that fun stuff. If you wanted to head over to Learpix, I'll leave that link in the description as well. Another project that's working on a lot of AI tools at the moment is Runway. Runway seems to be introducing a lot of functionality and quite innovative ways of working. Obviously, normal kind of text to image stuff, uh, image to image. Some of the other more video focused things you can do is focus in on super slow motion, turn any video into super smooth slow motion. Um, it'll be fun to have a little play around with that. Text to color grade, luck, color grade videos with nothing but words. In painting, easy remove people and things from videos. Some of the other really interesting things that these guys offer, which I want to experiment with, is training a portrait generator. The train a portrait generator is something that's really interesting to me for, for storyboarding and coming up with different concepts and ideas with consistent faces and characters. If you wanted to train your own portrait generator, you can do that with a one-time $10 payment. They ask for approximately or above 15 images from different angles of your subject, whether it's yourself or, or a model or a character drawing or, or whatever it is you wanted to use. Um, but I'm fascinated to see how well this can deliver. And it'd also be interesting to maybe try it with some different subjects, you know, maybe not just faces all the time. Try it with a building or try it with a product or try it with something just to see how you can potentially apply the technology to create much different and versatile imagery. Coming back to some of their other tools then, extract depth automatically generate a video depth map there's a few projects that kind of offer that at the moment i have tried one of the other tools which i can't remember off the top of my head i'll find it out and i'll flash it up on screen um also some other colorizing tools to colorize footage or to colorize images i should say some motion tracking tools adding a green background for keying out for green screening and whatnot exporting an alpha map for a similar process blurring the background replacing the background and all of these kind of good tools that um, we've seen out there for a little while frame interpolation turn a sequence of images into an animated video in my head i can imagine a few applications for that but maybe i haven't kind of thought about it enough yet but um i can imagine there's quite specific applications where you would use a tool like that train a custom generator so this might be where you would do products then if you wanted to do something that was more specific okay yeah that looks quite interesting being able to feed some product into here so again looking forward to giving all of this a try but yeah if you wanted to head over and check out runway for yourself i'll leave a link in the description below you can set up a free account it is kind of a freemium model and you get some free credits to play around with on the platform so feel free to go over there have a little play around with it and see what you think for yourself So those are some of the AI video editing tools that I'm looking at at the moment. If you have any that you're looking at yourself that I haven't mentioned, then please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm really excited about AI technology and how it can be applied to video editing techniques and, and workflows. I feel like we're really at a pivotal point at the moment where we're gonna see the shape of entire industries change over the coming years. If this is something you're also interested in keeping up to date on, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing a lot more research in this area and posting what I find. So stick around to stay in the loop. Thank you for watching the video and I'll speak to you soon.